party. There's some. There's more to it than just being gyro nair. It's more to it than that. Uh, Wadi's one of those top rods to show that. In my opinion, I think he's the best. They they got on me on the other stream talking about, well, what about Zachary? What about Aiden? Man, I definitely I feel Rob. I can just feel Wadi's Rob more than I feel Wadi. So right now we're starting this game one, still in that best of five territory. Both of them repping the uh, 2GG runner back colors. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love to see that. And it, I don't normally see Luneth use this, but use this color. He normally has the pink hair Bowser. Because it's right back, man. He's trying to rep the team. I, I can dig it. But, or maybe the goth colors, you know? Goth yeah, or team goth girls. You know what? That works. But solid conversions and pressure coming out from Wadi. Uh, Luneth's got to find a way to get past this wall that Wadi has set up there. Or has the potential to set up as well with the gyro, the nair, which is fairly safe on landing, and that neutral beat. Eats that neutral air. All right, clipping him. But that dare was able to get Lunik back. Tries to control. grab the top, but it just plunges it. Like, and Lunik was ready for that. He actually, he actually tried to up smash right there on the landing, but Wadi was smart, used the dare. That's going to be a back air, but the air oh, dodge is... Yep. Really nice air dodge there. And a spot dodge. Yeah, that back air, um, what I learned from Mindset is that back air is very safe on how he lands. Ooh, oh, okay, then. Okay, Lunik. Uh, you my homie and all, but dang, I would that that was a little ballsy on that one. I'm sorry. Uh, I respect it though. I respect it. Oh same. You gotta go for those sometimes. But Wadi's able to close out that first stock in this game one. Definitely, definitely can drop this stock if he gets hit with one side B, but those down tilts coming out, keeping Ooh, Lunik out and slowly going. Anything off parry. Gotta be careful of the side B right there, but Wadi going back to the stage and just continually spamming that nair because it's getting him all the mileage he possibly can. Lunik's got to do his best to keep his composure and somehow pulls out the stock. Yeah, Lunik had it really well. Like, it was pretty even first stock. His second stock has been all Wadi. I don't know if Lunik's hit Wadi this stock yet. I think it might have been an actual, like, minute-long zero to death. Yeah, it definitely feels like it. Got to find some way to use this. He did. He's trying to maybe land up till now. Oh, that with that forward smash there, not quite going to work out for him. Oh, my goodness. Wadi's just putting on the clinic right now. Lunik's unsure of how he's going to be able to close this out. Lands the up air and the percent is building, and it honestly feels like you might as well just begin ready for that game too, buddy. Yeah, is is he gonna touch Wadi this stock? Oh no, he That's is gonna be not. It. Dear God, he just back to Don't. back zero to death. Oh my dear goodness, God. Wadi, you are insane. Wadi going up 1-0 convincingly with that three stock, and at the beginning of the match, Luke was not playing bad at all. I just feel like he kept getting clipped every time he tried to run in to approach Wadi, and Wadi was just eating that up, and that frustration built. Uh, he's definitely got to find a way to slow down the momentum, and not only that, but get Wadi to be the one to approach, but to do that, you're going to have to get that lead, and that's easier said than done. All righty, so... Wadi, Lunik, game two. Yeah, Lunik, honestly, he needs to hit Wadi. Like, I know it's simple, but like, oh, look, he didn't present. There we go. He just needs to get his hits. It's a new game. The last game is done. It can't hurt you anymore. He's also got to be ready for these nairs. Oh, what a fine. combo. Oh, my goodness. Wadi was like, oh, he yeah, may Wadi be fine, but not there. after this. All right, lands a grab. Going to get a forward air. Getting that stage control and damage. Very solid. Straight. Straight into the point. The thing I noticed is that Lunik's been just like a split second late on some of this stuff. So a couple times he's had a move about to come out when Wadi hits him with something. So maybe he needs to start throwing out moves a little bit earlier. Hey, oh, oh my the goodness. cop's gonna Next rob the hard place. Eats that up smash. Yeah, he's been. He's. I can see that he's trying to react to the nair usage. And the thing about nair is you have to react on when. Uh, Rob is going to go for it and hit him before that hitbox comes out. That's always been the way you had to essentially deal with the move. Especially since it's fairly simple. Fairly simple. So, Wadi is just absolutely, to an extent, right, kind of clapping on Lunik right now. Oh, no, the SD, that's important. Yeah, he's I, I watch Lunik right play now. a lot in this game, and I don't think I've ever seen anybody give Lunik hands like this. All right, there's up smash. Wadi is on another stock. level. He's able to get a stock this round. Um, Again, just has to find a way to keep adv keep advantage. Oh, nice forward area there. And this is kind of where you do it. Uh, Rob can, again, mix up how he gets on the stage, how he recovers, and how he lands. But when you just let oh, him hit that. stuff like that, all it quits. Holy crap.
crap, Waddy. Jeez. That man is a family. Relax. Going up 2 0 right now. Ooh. I'm unsure like of how Loom's gonna make adjustments. I don't see a character switch at all. He's gonna be sticking with the Bowser. I don't know who he'd switch to, like the K rule? That's not gonna be. The only other characters better. that I know he has is K rule and Incineroar, but the Incineroar is not likely is about as likely as the K rule. No, Incineroar is like super not the move here. Definitely not. You know what? Stick with the Bowser. It got you this far. Same thing I said with Doorstop last set, right? It got you this far. Right, right. All right, smaller stage. We're going to Smashville. Smashville's hard, though. I personally think it's a really good Rob stage because Rob can kind of sit underneath that platform like a camp. Right? Yeah, that's with most projectile characters on this, which is why I'm not a big fan of taking them to this stage. There's gonna be a grab on the nair. Gonna get an up air. Oh, not quite. That up air is not true at a lot of percents. Get DI out of that for the most part. Kind of a DI mix up. Oh, that shield looking like that real Eminem thing looking real small. Oh, yeah. not quite getting that edge guard. He's gotta be ready for when Wadi's trying to box him. Like, he keeps running in and just keeps getting slapped. He potentially, I don't know, playing outside of that range or even running in. And just running back, he's got to try something because right now, like Wadi again is putting on the clinic yeah, up tilt to kill. up air. There Solid go. conversion. Wadi only 59% on his first stock, and it's always been Lunik's second stock where Wadi's absolutely popped off. Every game, Lunik's been on the second stock, and Wadi's just like, you know what? I don't have that stock now. Let's, let me take that. Thing. Oh, I feel, I feel oh my go goodness, like, read the roll in! I, I think you should just go for more like straightforward punishes. Like, uh, I've not seen the up be out of shield too much. Oh my goodness. The damage is building up. This is just looking like a repeat of our previous few matches. He's gonna get the down throw into the up B. Or excuse me, I, was about to, I meant up, up smash, there. but he did up tilt up. Up tilt there. Not seen that mix up before from a Rob, actually. Oh, the back here. That, that uh, short hop. Grab from ledge. It's a Bowser and especially a Lunix special, but not working out for him there. He has to close out the dead guard if he wants to get any shot of winning this game. Right, gonna clip him with the flame breath. Up tilt, up, up tilt. Strong, strong, very strong move. Right, so Lunix needs something cheesy here. One of those oh. nice like Bowser setups. Almost got caught with it there. That would have that was spell doom. Yeah, that would have killed for sure. Oh no, that is not what you want to do, good friend. Now he's in. Oh, he's gonna make it. No, oh, he's not. Not quite. Three yeah. straight two. So I gotta say, he got three stock and two two stocks from Wadi. Super good stuff to Wadi. 